never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right, yeah I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right, yeah I can only say that it feels right
sun is down But we will always win Leading every dance, feeling every touch And getting high in love We're invincible
was built to break off the handle How'd we get to this place? Be home.
Like a broken soul in a wonderland without angels That is how I feel when the mirror shows me a stranger Yeah And I know they're just fragments of a world where your absence all I get to see Take me back to the planet The planet where you and I are still meant to be Cause I'm incomplete When you wipe out all my right. sight What's When up? you don't wake up next to me Yeah, I'm incomplete Welcome, 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 welcome everybody to the Grand Finals of the Matka PUBG League squads, part of Quark 19 by Bets Bilani Goa. I am Shade Slayer. Now be your caster for this game. It's gonna be a crack of a matchup. We have 24 squads ready to battle it out for the ultimate prize and, of course, the bragging rights of being called the champions. Of the Mud Cup of G League. And we're gonna jump straight into the map. Let's have a look at the flight path. It's gonna be uh, northeast to southwest, traveling through Yasnaya Mansion, Farm, Millet Base, Ferry, Quarry, Porchinki, Gatka. Ruins, all of these are going to be in play. Milta, Milta Power as well. We have seen squads heading towards Nornoye as well. Time and again. Severny, one of those locations that I was very surprised. A lot of squads did go to Severny during the uh, solos and duos on Friday. And uh, I do expect it to be a similar case this time around as well a pretty decent spread by the looks of things should be quite a few people heading towards uh, Ross Hawk and school as well yes Naya surprisingly is going to be uh, totally empty by the looks of things Pochinki might see a few bodies in that direction and uh, we have landed into the map here A few players still flying in, coming in a tad bit late, but uh, it's going to be a-okay. Roshawk definitely going to see some early action on. We're going to keep our eyes peeled. A couple of squads going in hot. Squad 20 is going to go all the way to the uh, western side, maybe even just outside of Roshawk. Not probably looking to take this fight early on. Pochinki going to... Have a lot of bodies in and around this general direction. Squad number 13 and squad number 5 very close to each other. Squad number 10, 13, and 5 going to house themselves up at Pochinki. The first circle does come in and it's going to be towards the southern eastern side. Going to be encompassing Yasnaya Mansion Shelter, Melta Farm, uh, Novarnoe, a part of uh, Mill Base as well, Milta Power, Lepovka. Lepovka does have a couple of squads there. Squad number 19 and squad number 18. Decide to land very close to each other here. Fade needs to be pretty careful. Is heading in that general direction. Meanwhile, Flash Guard does find the opener. And we're going to see more action by the looks of things here. We're going to keep our eyes peeled. Squad 15 and Squad 3 going at it out in the open. They do manage to pick off one player there and uh, they might just look to go for more. Meanwhile, more action breaking out north of Ferry Pier. Oh, he's got the melees. Can he do this though? He's dancing around. One more, one more. Go ahead, son. He gets the knock. Beautifully done there, Jeet. 
He still hasn't managed to find himself a weapon here. He's just gonna hang around in the open. Doesn't even have time to go for the loot here. He's expecting more bodies to come his way. The shotgun comes out. Not gonna connect in, but he does manage to uh, pick himself up a rifle. He's gonna go back in with the M16. Doors open. The hair peeking in. Deep star, but it's gonna get shot in the side. He was far too cornered in there. Couldn't really account for all the angles to work with. Three players from squad number 12. Gonna be able to clean house. Meanwhile, Nibal able to uh, get a knock onto Ashwin. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled though. Squad 15 and 3. Still going at it. Weird J power. Oh, it does look like... Uh you might not be getting the uh, game audio, is it? I'm just going to quickly have a check at that. Not really sure if that's the scenario. Oh, it, it is uh, actually going through. Do let me know if that is the case. Though. I'm not really sure. Meanwhile, looks like they're going to be able to uh, dodge each other at least for now. We have squad 23 and 12 very close to each other. Meanwhile, squad 22 does get some action and Nibba ends up going down. Easy clean up, Treyas. Is pretty close in that direction. He's gonna continue to hide around here. They might be able to spot him in the corner. Oh, he spots one body. He spots on the head. Nathan, they're gonna go charging through. Can he get the kill? Can he get the Oh, he gets two. Can he re enter back in time? No, he can't. He's gonna get taken down eventually there. And that's gonna be uh, his demise. A valiant effort nonetheless. More gunshots. And flash guard, meanwhile, does manage to find one. Our ice field, he's gonna go for more. He just barely managed to get back to safety. He's gonna go straight up clean house. Beautifully done. Peeks around, perfect timing, takes him down. And uh, now, they have cleaned up on squad three and will look to continue to loot for the rest of Primars. Uh, looking slightly towards Roshawk, where we did have quite a few squads dropping and you see squad 21, 16, four and 14. In that general direction, Roshawk school and slightly westward as well. And... Uh, They're going to find themselves a DP, attack stock. Not the best of loot, but uh, they're going to have to make do for now. Uh, Georgia Pole has about a couple of squads in that direction. B Bing sitting with the mini.
And uh, how's it looking like inside the circle? We have a few squads already in. Four, ten, five, six is gonna make it through. So is squad number 23 who's uh, driving his way in. 17 is here, so is 19 all the way up at Lepovka. The first drop is coming through. Let's keep our eyes peeled on what that's gonna look like. It's gonna be the AUG 556, extended quick draw snipers, and the level threes. So, a pretty decent loot there. And uh, Squad 17 might be interested in going in that direction to pick that up. Nobody else, though, is gonna be looking to take this fight here. We do have Squad 7 slightly up. Uh, Southeastern of Mill Bay, Squad 8, currently at Mill Bay, Squad 2 at Novo Nowhere. A pretty slow start. Understandably so as well. There is a lot on the line here. It's a one round match, so you don't really want to get knocked out early on. Understandably why some of these squads don't really want to take the fights early on. You do want to try and uh, start off slow. Ensure that you have the loot that you need before you do go for some of these engages. Don't leave it to the RNG gods. And, uh, oops, <laughs> almost ends up flipping the Dacia there. Squad number 11, gonna be counting their stars. They're gonna coming up uh, towards squad number 16, okay. Are they gonna look to fire Anki and Ko? Are giving a close eye, but they're just gonna let the uh, Dacia go by. They're more worried about squad number 21 here who is looting a couple of compounds ahead. Anki, just loading up the car 98. He does have teammates in the building here. He's just waiting, oh, he gets eyes on one, he has eyes on two, but he's not really gonna pull the trigger just yet. He's gonna switch over to the AK. He does have Dhruv and Co. at close quarters. They're gonna reposition themselves Dhruv, keeping a close eye, he does have the M16 peeks out. Not going to see anyone just yet, though. They are behind that compound, at least for now, so uh, they're safe for the moment. Patience play. As DD Sark. Continues to loot away. YOLO needs to be careful. There's a lot of bodies on the left side. The circle is pushing in and he's going to barely make him his way back into the building. And now they're going to know the door is open up. He spots a one play, gets the shot, and he's going to be able to pick up the kill. That's how you clean up, I suppose. Squad number 21 comes out on top. And they move on in the grand finals. We already have B Bink as well as R. Have managed to find themselves a buggy and they're quickly making their way back and they do have quite a bit of heal as well. Uh, first aid kit if required. Up towards the uh, western side. There are a few squads chasing each other by the looks of skin. Squad 15 just makes its way back in. Need to keep up ice peeled on squad 6 as well. The score 12 just about on the other side. Mono spots them going through. And they're taking a parting just straight at him here. He doesn't pull the trigger. Instead decides to switch over to the mini. And I think that's just about gives them the opportunity to go by. Squad number 12. Gonna be uh, a okay here for now. The parting ends up working in their favor. 
and they're gonna be safe for now. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled though on squad number 14, squad 4, here towards the northern side. Looking pretty tricky in that area. A lot of squads huddled there on 11, 4, 21, 24 as well, but they're slightly more central towards the circle. They're not gonna be uh, pushing in immediately, those squad 14. Just gonna get themselves a few boosters up. They're gonna hit the deck. Pretty pessimistic here right now. They do expect there to be a few squads waiting here at the perimeter, looking for squads that are pushing in late. That is one of the strategies that is employed time and again in the international PUBG scene. Squad number 10, closing in towards 20 though, Lordis can co. They spot the players and they get shot at. They're gonna leave one of the players by Captain Rogers. Takes the knock and he's gonna continue firing with that DP. And squad number 10 is out of here. They're gonna cut their losses, move out. And Captain Rogers, unfortunately, yep. It's not gonna have the best of time. Squad 10 though, they're gonna stand there going and take this fight. They have taken the compound opposite. What can they put up here though? They're gonna reposition back. Crazy skill as well as Captain Shark. They do have one player hitting the deck as well. They've given away their positions. But are they gonna look to peek some pre-fire shots coming in? Jemak has already taken quite a bit of damage. But he does have himself the car 98. There are a couple of angles to peek from. Maybe they should just look to take wider peeks. They are currently all concentrated inside the single building. Just a couple of windows to play from. Pretty risky to say the least. And are we going to look at the airdrop? Oh, this has already been looted by the looks of things by squad number 15. So, uh, we're going to turn our attention back towards the standoff between squad 10 and 20. Shot fired through Jimac. Gonna be A-OK, -okay, but they're already pre fires coming through. Wolf taking a lot of damage. He needs to hit the deck here. He needs to hit the deck now. Get the heels out. Captain Shark. Gonna continue to hang around here. Not really sure what the plan is right now. Both the players are inside the circle. But uh, it should start pushing out sometime soon. Meanwhile, squad 13 and 11. Again, pretty much in kissing distance right now. And uh, they do have squad number 12 also slowly approaching in that direction. Squad 11 actually is going to look to move out and might encounter squad number 10 heading in their direction. Is this going to go on the left side? Are they going to look to give chase? No, they're not. They still have two players parked down. Keep our eyes peeled at squad 10. They're just going to completely relocate back out. But there are squads here in close vicinity. Squad number 12. How are they going to look to play this out though? Crazy skill. Oh, Captain Shark gets hit. They're going to walk out into the open here. They, in fact, Wolf is just going to look to get the revive out. Kumar, is he looking to push? Yes, he is. He's going to be able to clean up. Gets the second knockdown as well. And squad number 12. Clean house. There's no more of squad 10 in this direction. That's a sad way to go, though. Captain Shark should be cleaned up momentarily. And uh, squad number 12 continue to hold on to that compound. They're pretty strong defense. Meanwhile, towards the northwestern side of the circle, we see an engage coming in. Squad 4, squad 21. Gonna be going at it here. Up on the roof, we do have... There. Oh, he gets taken down by B-Bank. Beautiful spray down. And now, we do have DDR. This is gonna push into school. The nade comes in. 
Doesn't really do much though. They are on the hunt. Aggressive play. There's Harsh in the corner. Is he gonna check? Oh, he's not. He's not. He's not checked that just yet though. Harsh. Ah, he's given away his position. He's given away his position here. They should be able to clean up. Damon ends up going down. Meanwhile, 12. They take a bit of damage. But uh, they should be able to get the uh, revive off your. Just look at the HP on squad number 12. They have, te they have taken a pounding, is what they have. But uh, looks like uh, they're not going to converge in just yet. Squad number 13. They're going to look to move into the circle, which has further progressed towards the eastern side. Squad number 7 and squad number 8 are going to be very close to each other. We're going to turn our attention there. Faizu. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. Barely manages to make it through the uh, doorway there. Is he going to look to fight? Oh, he does spot Schwenk out. He's spotting a lot of bodies, in fact. But he's not looking to pull the trigger just yet. It's just going to be patience from his end. Meanwhile, Agent Shield closes up the door. I think he has a pretty good inkling on where Schwenk is playing from. Actually, maybe not. He's looking far to east. Oh, he's passed a player out, Wolf. One shot, two shot, three shot. Can he reposition back? He decides to stand and take a fight. And that should be Wolf going down here. He's going to be able to clean him up with the M16. You gotta worry about all those angles, especially when you're looking to hit the deck out there in the open. That rock is only gonna cover you from a couple of angles. Ay ay ay. He gets taken down and uh, squad number seven. How's it looking like there is Michael, who is currently still prone here on the grass. And he does have Eyes on Agent Shield, but it doesn't really make sense for him to uh, try and go for the skill. He also has eyes on the aimed. I'm guessing it's how his name is pronounced, but okay. Oh, 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 oh. they have all players around. We do see the knock on to 40. And that should be the cleanup coming in. There's squad number two there. Looking elsewhere, the circle is enclosing in quickly. Squad 13 moving in the general direction that squad number 11 is in. We're going to keep our eyes peeled in that direction. A lot of squads heading close by. Squad 2 parks down. This is going to be a bloodbath here if they move upstairs. Zion holding the crossfire right now with Makim. Are they going to look to push through though? They are uh, coming in guns blazing. In comes the nade. In comes the Molotov. They're all just going to burn alive here. Zion as well as Makim take so much damage. There's already a knock coming in as well. Meanwhile, there's fights happening outside this compound. Player number two looks to move out. He gets a knock onto one, but there's more fire. He has detected him and he sees him out as well. He's going to be pretty low. Can he get the kill? Fire through. Yes, he can. Itachi goes huge. And there should be the full squad cleaned up. Nothing more they can do here at this point of time. Squad number 14 also going to be coming through. They've heard the gunshots. How are they going to respond though? They're not going to move in that direction just yet. They're just about inside the circle. So they do have time to catch up. They're going to get the heals out for now. The last player of uh, squad number 11 ends up going down. And squad 2 with the cleanup. We still have about 15 squads remaining. Up and kicking. 48 players alive in the server. The circle is going to uh, center up towards... Uh, Shelter and prison and uh, a lot of squads gonna have to move in that direction squad 14 13 23 2 All of them are probably gonna have to face up against each other in comes The airdrop what's it looking like it's gonna go smack bang outside of shelter and Okay, we're gonna 
try and catch up to see what's inside. It's going to be the MK14, 7.62 ammo, 4X, and of course the level 3s. Looking at the positioning of the squads, as uh, squad 13 taking in a bit of damage. They are split up, at least for now, squad 24. Do have the advantage. Squad 20 is going to be creeping up on 24 anytime soon. Squad 5 in the far side. Squad 1 is just about pushing in license to kill. Thinking about going for that airdrop. Should be making his way there soon. Squad 2. Is going to be on the wheels there, closely approaching squad 20, who do have the superior positioning here. I don't think they have accounted for this. They barely spot the first player out. Are they going to hold their ground? No, they're not. Itachi continues to fire away, and they're just going to drive away here. Perfect decision, and they're going to find a better place to park that UAZ, but it's taken significant damage for now. They're going to look to go ahead and take this fight up. Agent Shield does get the knock on to Manish. Repositioning galore here as danger. Holding the angle, does spot out raid, smokes go down. And they're just gonna look to probably back off Flash God. Meanwhile, gets one that's all a cluster here right now. Shots coming in, Agent Shield gets knocked down. Lord Disc, are they going to look to go for more? There's Mr. Killer, who does manage to get the knock, and they should be able to clean house here. The Dinu 666. And Ko, just about coming in. Squad number six doing good. Squad two. He's going to be uh, quickly approaching the airdrop. Looking at the... Final positions here. Final few circles coming in. 21 and 14 are going to be very close to each other. Void ends up taking a knock. And that's going to be the end of Mr. Killer. Squad 14 hold on. 21 though. Creeping up. He spots a player out. Should be able to get the clean up. Yes, they do. And uh, DDR. Does here gunshots? How are they gonna be able to address this though? They're gonna look to charge in. Oh, the nade! The nade's gonna be everything. He's just gonna toss the nade and look to head back by the looks of things. Will the nade be able to do anything? Yeah, yes, it does. Anubhav ends up getting knocked down. And they're gonna continue tossing the nades up ahead. Is that going to be able to clean up? Uh, no, it doesn't. Rayhan, still all alone here. He's dropping the smokes down. He needs to get two revives off. Not sure how he's going to be able to survive this. Now his teammate ends up going down before the smoke blooms. And that is going to be a huge loss. Keeping our eyes peeled on uh, license to kill. Oh, he spots a player out. He does get knocked down. White and Co, though. Are able to continue looting up here. Play number 19. Under some pressure. It's a lot of cluster here. As the circle begins to push in. He wants to hit the deck. Just barely out of the edge. But there's more, more players coming through. 14 under a lot of pressure. And that's going to be their end. They get cleaned up. Squad number 24 as well going at it and squad 15 will be able to get the kills in. Flash cleaning up gets one. They're able to get the second kill in as well and that should be the rest coming through. But they are wide out in the open and their squad 17-23 coming up close as well. They want to keep their eyes peeled on that. They don't really want to commit in just yet. They're going to hit the deck here. Squad number 15. Let's have a look at the kills. Flash God sitting on 9. Shub God sitting on 4. 
They have only two players alive. Squads with two, 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 three on 19, three on 20. And it's just a solo Stanny for squad number 23. Pretty much anybody's game here. Seven squads alive. As we near the closing stages here of the grand final for squads of Mutka PUBG League. It's going to be Ship God moving out in the open. Flash God is on the other side. The circle's pushing in fast. He's going to head up. And that's going to end up giving away his position by the looks of things. Nope, he's able to continue running. And Stanny, meanwhile, ends up going down. That's going to be the end. I think that was squad. He was the lone player in that squad. Shots coming in. Pro Newbie ends up getting the knock. AK rules. And Void rattling off a few shots. Altair has taken a bit of damage. He's looking for openings. Not going to be able to find one, but Flash God ends up taking a knock. And that's going to be the end. Squad number one going to be able to clean up. Smoke's going down, allowing Void to get the uh, revive onto Pro Newbie. How's it looking like as well? DDR sitting on 8 kills. He's going to be slowly looking to charge up. Smoke's going down as uh, squad number 1. Gonna continue to hit the deck, but Nick Swartz is getting knocked down. I think that was Shub God from all the way across. He does get the kill. Ah. A bit of a POE thing there, but okay, okay. They do manage to hold on, and now it's down to the top five squads. That's a pretty weird way of uh, showing us the POE, but okay, it's okay. More shots fired. Shubgod continues to rattle off a few shots. pre is coming through. Nade, long range. Not going to spot anyone out though. DD Sark though. Sees the smokes. Continues to rattle a few shots. I think that was a shot connected onto Jim Mac. Get some damage in. Doesn't really manage to uh, achieve much though. More shots in that direction. There is Pro Newbie looking to sneak in as well from behind. Squad number 19 looking very strong. Shubgod. Ends up going down. And now the circle's pushing in. Pro Newbie's got to get up and charge his way through. Does do so. He's sneaking through, but he's going to be able to get the knock. No, he can't. No, he can't. He ends up going down. And now AK rules. He's going to end up going down. Oi, oi, oi. They left it a tad bit too late. And now it's down to a 2v2 here. Squad number 20 and squad number 21 going at it. Who's going to walk away, Victor? Altair, Mac, R, Enko. I'm going to put my money on R, though. This man's been having a stunning match thus far. Out come the utility. The nades going out. He's going to climb up and above. Let's have a look. Can he get the spot, though? Can he spot Altair out? No, he doesn't. He's just buying time right now. Trying to force a reaction, but just look at the position from Jim Mack. Jim Mack coming in for the... Oh, he spots out Jim Mack. Out comes the spray down. Can he get the kill? Yes, he can. He does manage to kill it. It's a 1v1 Altair versus DDR for the title. He spots him out. Goes for the spray. Oh, he can Altair. Beautifully done. Clutches it out at the end. 1v2. And secures the chicken dinner here in the grand finals of Matka PUBG League, part of Quark 19 by Betpilani Goa. Congratulations to the champions, Jim Mac Altair, Monk, and Lardisk. Shout out to all the players who participated in this tournament. We did have the duos as well as the solos on Friday. And today, we had some amazing games throughout for squads. And Jim Mack and Co. are your champions. Thank you so much for all the viewers who tuned in. It's been such a blast. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what we do. It's been an amazing game. 
We will see you folks soon. Until then, this is Shade Slayer on behalf of LXG TV saying goodbye and good night. for the time.